Hey, WealthLab 8 users, Glitch here. Today, we're going to talk about what's new in WealthLab 8 Build 7. So let's get started. The focus of Build 7 was improving WealthLab 8's auto trading capability. And we addressed three major areas in WealthLab 8's auto trading. First is signal pruning. So let's see how we might demonstrate this one. Let me open up a chart. Let's get a triple leveraged QQQ going on the one minute scale and start streaming. So we have our streaming chart. Let us now look at our strategies in my dev folder here. Let me open up this double exit one, and we're actually going to make it into a triple exit. So this is a test strategy that we're using to exercise the auto trading capabilities. It just buys at market, then it uh, sells at a stop and a limit. So the limit is based on the highest five bar high. We're going to throw in another limit order, sell at profit target. And let's say give it a 0.5% profit target. So let's save that. And now let's drag that strategy into the streaming chart. So the strategy is now streaming. You could see the three exit orders it has for the open position. There's two limit orders and one stop order. Let's turn on auto place so subsequent signals can go into the order manager here. Now the one thing we're going to look out for is previously when these signals would have been auto placed, both of these limit sell orders would have got submitted uh, to the order manager, when in reality, since they are both tied to the same position, only the limit price closest to the current price could be submitted. So this is called pruning the signals. So this results in only the signals that are actually required getting submitted to the order manager. So this it will clear up a lot of excess unnecessary signals. So unfortunately, we had an exit uh, on the last bar, so this signal was a buy, but you could see it it was uh, handled here in our order manager in our dummy broker. So let's take a look here. Uh, this would be a good time to mention this new area of the signal block here in the order manager lets you see positions that were generated by the strategy. They're called auto trade positions. And this will come into play when we talk about the, the third item here in the list. All right, let's see. We've got about 10 more seconds to go before this bar closes, and we should get our exit orders. You'll, you should see three exit orders up here. Uh, there they are, three signals. However, only two of the signals were submitted to the order manager. Uh, and the limit signal is 3059, which is the closer one to the target. And those, uh, actually the stop already filled. So now that the stop filled, you uh, at the moment that that stop order filled, closing the position, you would have seen this auto trade position get removed from this list here. So that is the signal pruning. Another time this will come into effect is if for any reason, your building block strategy generates exit orders that include one market order and, and a limit or a stop. In that case, obviously only the market order needs to be submitted, so that's also handled. The order manager is much more intelligent now with this new feature. Next, we have OCO cancel replace. And let's let this go for another minute since we actually just entered a position here. So I'm gonna let this 
speed up until we get our cell signals. So here are our two cell signals. Let me remove, remove the inactive signals. So we have a stop and a limit, uh, and you see this little anchor symbol. That means they were submitted as a OCO, one cancels other pair. And if you go to your trading preferences and turn on OCO, that's when you will see uh, these little indicators. And if the broker that you're connected to supports native OCO orders, WealthLab 8 will use them in this case. So the, the change here we're going to see is when the next set of signals come in, uh, assuming that one of these prices needs to change, I think in this strategy it isn't. So, you know, you'll have to believe me on this because what it's it's going to do on the next bar is simply change the timestamp of signal since the prices aren't changing it, there's no need for it to cancel and replace if one of these prices needed to change previously you could run into issues because if it was a native oco order uh it would try to replace one of the legs of the order and since it was an OCO order, the broker would air out that order, things like that. Now, with the OCO cancel replace logic improved, if the o if either component of the OCO needs to be modified, WealthLabate will cancel both of them, and then after they're canceled, will submit the new pair of orders. So you should no longer get these cancel replace uh, errors that some of you were seeing so that is the second improvement in the auto trading and the last has to do with this little area here with these positions that wealth lab 8 tracks that are automatically generated oh here we go we just saw a cancel and a replace of the oco so it, it's good that we saw that because one of the uh the limit price actually uh, decreased. So we canceled out this 3056 and we went down to 3053. So it was good that we caught that in actions. Okay, the last thing I wanted to highlight in build seven. Okay, so here we have our buy and in the signal block, we can see that we do have a long position that was generated by the strategy. Uh, now we have a couple of exit orders here now. I'm going to cancel them before they have a chance of filling. So price just went down. So this stop loss order would have got filled. And that means that the strategy running will think that that position is closed, theoretically. So what it's going to do the next time it generates signals, it's going to issue another buy. However, we already have this position here from... 1516. So this is what's called an orphan. It's a position that the strategy thinks it has, but is not in our actual brokerage account. So let's see what happens when the next bar completes here in about five seconds. Okay, so just as I thought, we got our buy for the new position, which was filled. But we, we got this sell here uh, for this position that was in here. If we double click, we can see selling orphan position. So this is WealthLab 8's way of making sure that if your broker fails to fill one of the stop or limit orders for whatever reason, maybe the price just nudged above and then quickly back down and the broker didn't have a chance to fill the order and WealthLab thinks that that position was sold and you still have it. If you go to this trading preference here, exit orphan positions at market, WealthLab 8 will sell that position for you, doing an even better job of keeping your actual brokerage account in sync with what's going on in the strategy running in the chart. So it's a lot to digest. Or there's some quite a bit of other improvements in Build 7 uh, that I won't enumerate here, but give it a try, download it, 
get your strategies running, report back with any feedback you might have, and look forward to hearing from you on the forum. Thanks, everyone.